the topic of this video is going to be the fast squeeze and enchanted. There are a bunch of squeeze boxes enchanted now. <laughs> There's this one. I screwed up. Let's try it again. Is that? Which is mainly used in bone dance, but it's also used in like mid-level any percent runs. And then there is this one, which is using the same guy. It's a lower one. Which turns out to be more useful in 90%. It's faster to set up. Doesn't waste as much time in the air. And then there is this one. Which is pretty new. That was a bad one. This one that I'm trying to do now is the one that I'm going to be covering. The main idea is to bait this guy into chasing you, and then you want to get squeezed like in this corner. When he chases you, you can capture your camera like this, which I'll talk about more later. But you want him to, to follow you, and then turn back around, and as he turns back around, you want to be walking into this corner, and if you get him to turn around at the right time, he'll squeeze you pretty directly, which will cause you to go up high enough to get up there and over into the end area. Like that. So there are a few main like things to cover. It's a pretty convoluted setup comparatively. Like most most spyro tricks aren't this elaborate setup, but it's not super complicated. Um, so the first thing you want to do is charge towards that green rock that just spawned. You want to turn like one or two very small taps left from the moment you spawn in and you want to charge from the moment you spawn in. And then you want to stop about there, maybe a little bit earlier. Yeah, a little bit earlier. You want to spot you want to stop like right as Spyro's wings past the rock. That's the, the cue that I stole from Sprotodorn. And then... Once you've stopped, the guy's gonna turn around. And then what you want to do is you want to turn left and try to face in the direction of the corner, roughly. You don't have to be exact. Just close enough that you can charge straight and be pretty much there. And then you want to start charging as the guy is like just about to line up with the rock. Not as he lines up or after because that'll be too late and then he won't chase you. But just about before he does that before he passes the rock. That's when you want to charge. And then, it happened too fast for me to explain it there, but after you charge, you just want to walk into the corner. You want to stop charging before you bonk into the wall. Um, 
So you want to get there quick enough that you're in the corner and walking forward into the corner before the rhino gets there to squeeze you. I think that's really... I'm, I'm not sure why it's important, but I think walking into the corner is important. It probably like puts you like as close to the corner as possible, like as deep into it as possible, so that the squeeze is more effective because you're you're more stuck, I guess. That's that's my heuristic. I don't know if that's actually the way the game works, but that's the way that I think about it usually. Um, and then once you're up here, you kind of have a few options. What I like to do is I charge down, and then. I glide before I hit the ground and flame to get that first rocket. And then I charge up the stairs for the second, and then turn around for the third. Uh, something I've seen other people do is go for the one on the ground and then turn left for the one that I get last. And then they turn back around to the stairs. My gut tells me that going for the one on the ground and then the stairs and then the third one last would be the fastest. I think there's a little bit less backtracking that way, but um, I haven't tried to confirm that. I don't know if anybody else has. So one thing to keep out for, or to watch out for, um, with that last attempt, you saw the camera turned as I got squeezed, and that was because the, the Rhinoc guy stole my camera. It's a way of thinking of it, like, certain enemies, when they charge at you, the camera focuses on them. The boar in Molten Crater does that, that Rhinoc does that, um, and it happens a lot with this trick in particular, where if you get squeezed in certain ways, uh, the camera will stay locked on even after you've left its range and it's not chasing you anymore uh, which can be kind of annoying like if you mess up the movement after it's after the camera gets locked um, I find a lot like if I bonk on the step going up the steps to that second rocket uh, after I bonk the camera turns to face the, the Rhinoc guy and it's hard to like adapt my movement correctly after that because the camera being locked somewhere else changes the way that like the directional buttons influence your movement. So yeah, that's like the main uh, quick overview of this trick. Um, I do find that if I do it in a way that feels correct to me, I never get the camera lock on thing. I feel like you have to do it in a kind of weird way for that to happen. If you do it the way that I described, and you get pretty good at that, it doesn't really happen to me that often. Um, but it is something to watch out for. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'll do it a few more times just to have more examples. Here, I think I'm a bit too close to the rock. I'd like to be a little bit further back, so it's going to be hard to time this. I don't even know if I can. Yeah, uh, if you're too close, you're probably just going to kill the guy <laughs> before he gets to a spot that he needs to be in. Uh, I think your position and his position aren't super correlated. Like, you don't... His movement is mostly tied to his position and, like, the, the phase that he's in, I guess. Like, whether he's chasing you or going back to his idle path. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about like if I'm up here then I have to charge even earlier or something like you can use that cue that I talked about of the guy like being just about to cross the rock. You can use that pretty reliably I think whether you're like here or a little further back. Um, but it might be harder to see, depending on your position. And if you're too close, like I said, you'll just kill the guy <laughs> when you charge. So, uh, you want to be like here-ish, that's alright. There I charged too late, so the guy didn't chase me. Uh, 
That was good. Bad move. Charge too late. I was in kind of a weird position too. I think. Yeah, maybe it's like when you charge just like a little bit late, but not late enough to screw up the trick. Maybe that's what causes the camera lock-on thing to happen. It was either that or my positioning was weird. I don't know. Um, if you do it. With a relatively like stable camera. This is too close. I mean, alright, so there is some blue way there. Like obviously I was able to make that work. Possible that if you're a bit closer you want to charge sooner. Um, again, I don't I don't know the science on this, but in my experience, the setup that I described initially is the most reliable. So yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me on Discord or wherever. <laughs>